Hello, my name's Sai. I'm Technical Manager for One PLM. Customer recently asked if it was possible when they brought in customer data in a non-associative format, such as a step file, how can it be relinked if the customer then says an updated version in which the geometry has changed to ensure any parts which reference the customer data automatically update to save them a lot of work in recreating features that fail due to references being lost. So I've put together a simple demonstration of how to use the replacement assistant inside the wave geometry linker. We have two levels of customer data. We have the original customer data and then we have a V2. We can see that the size of the customer data has changed no additional faces or details, features, etc. have been added. Back at the project, we can see we've got a number of components in here. We have the customer data. We have a mold master. We have the upper mold, the lower mold and the studs. We will go to the mold master. First of all, I'm going to hide my explosion and make the mold master the work part. In here, we can see after the date and coordinate system, the very first feature is a non associative linked body. Relinking this body, we will need to use the wave replacement assistant. Otherwise, all the dependent features in the part navigator will lose their reference, which will create a lot of work. So to start with, let's replace the customer data. So we can see that the customer data has now been replaced. Because the link is non-associative, nothing's going to update. I'm also at this point going to freeze the wave links in the upper and lower mold. So I can control as and when these two parts update. In the associativity manager, I'm going to edit the frozen status of the lower mold and the upper mold and just freeze them in this session. Two ice cube symbols appear to show that the links are frozen. In the part navigator, I'm going to edit this linked body. And first of all, I'm going to show you what will happen if I don't use the replacement assistant. The wave geometry linker asks us to select the body. I pick customer data V2 and simply choose OK. This will create a brand new and in this case associatively linked body. But look what happens to all the features. It's a CAD disaster. So let's just do a, an undo and we will go back and do this properly. Double clicking on the link body, I'm going to pick the body to remap, to relink, and then I'm going to use the replacement assistant. Now the replacement assistant will split, split the screen in two. In this case, I've synchronized the views. We've got the original data on the left, and the replacement object on the right. We can change the emphasis colour or the match colour, sorry. So when we identify matched geometry and topology, it will show in a colour of our choice. And I'm going to do geometric matches. We can use auto matching and select this algorithm, the matching algorithm. I can choose one to one matches only followed by find geometric matches. It tells me in the alert, 
I found 150 new matches. So any faces that have been matched identically will show in yellow. We get a list of all the inferred matches. And if I simply right click on the top and choose accept match, all those have now been matched. We can now change the matching algorithm to infer from accepted. And basically it will look for additional geometry that it can match based on the previous geometric matching. If I click find new matches, you'll see that it identifies a number of new matches and more of the model has now gone into a yellow colour. We can simply accept that match and repeat the process. Every time I do this, it's matching less and less um, faces and edges. The final one, if we accept, the alert tells us that all objects from the old parent are now matched. If we choose OK now, I would hope that all these features now hang together. If we look back at the assembly level and we can turn the studs on, we can see that one of the studs is actually intersecting the new mould cavity. So we need to make a change to the hole positions in the mould master. The whole positions have now changed, but because we froze the wavelengths in the upper mould and the lower mould, the new position for the stud will not reflect in the assembly. So at this point, we need to ensure that the changes are processed and reflected in the two parts of the upper and lower mould. I'm going to hide the mould master and I'm going to return one of these at a time and then under the wave tool in assemblies under associativity manager I want to review the updates after the edit. I can edit the frozen status, remove the upper mould and choose OK and then update session. And what we can see is if we drag the little slider you see the before and after position of the changes. We can do the lower mould And again, we can see the before and after of the changes to the, the part. And then when we choose OK, our stud has moved to its new location. The mould master can be hidden. And all the changes now reflect in their relevant part files. Hope you've enjoyed the demonstration. If you'd like to know more, please get in touch. Thank you.